I'm Terry Davis. I'm the smartest programmer that's ever lived. I was chosen by God to make his temple. I was given divine intellect. So uh, let's say you have an integer i. And you say i equals 1, 2, 3, 4. There we can see 1, 2, 3, 4 in the hexadecimal, 4D2. Now if we say i equals a, there you can see it's ASCII 41. 65 okay in temple os my compiler will put together um multiple characters in a character constant we don't do um unicode we do ascii eight bit ascii not seven bit seven bit signed ascii is retarded anyway so uh we do eight bit ascii seven bit ascii is Signed ASCII is retarded. Anyway, so uh, uh, now um, there was a nigger who came up with this idea. Well, that's pretty niggerlicious. The way we do it is we just say hello and we use and we use, uh, uh, this goes to standard out, and um, we use the printf. So the way we do it, so to, to print C out, so we make a statement like this. I hit F5, there we go. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, so... Uh, if we do uh, you can imagine uh, what do you think this is going to do okay so a b c d let's unassemble this <clears throat> and here we have um, we have here here's an ascii a with a call to put char, then we have a, a string with a call to print. We have a put char, print, put char, print. Okay. So as a matter of fact, we can have up to eight characters in a uh, in a uh, character character constant. So as a matter of fact, we can. We can get this done with, uh, I was just going to look, look at that, pretty nice, huh? So let's, let's make sure it runs, right? So there we got A, B, C, D at the bottom, right? See the A, B, C, D? Okay, so, um, so you can see we, uh, we don't have to have the name main, we can say, uh, demo, demo, and we can do demo. Um, we can do demo several times. We can do. We can do this. Okay, so I'm the smartest programmer's ever lived. Anyway, so what if we have? Our, I'm going to show you. So the most important thing in programming is naming. So um, let's call this. Uh, um, that's kind of ironic. You caught me off guard. <laughs> Switch demo. How about that? Okay, so the most important thing in programming is naming. The, the most powerful statement in the C language is the switch statement. This is the most powerful, the best, the best statement in the C language is the switch statement. That is the most powerful statement. Um, I don't, this is kind of a, okay, so I'm gonna, we're doing a, maybe you want me to, to make this, um, well, anyway, 
I hope you'll forgive. Um, okay, why don't I do this correctly? Oh, I fuck it. Okay, so I'm, I'm doing an example that is. Uh, Not not the best way to program, obviously. Okay, so uh, so let's do this. So we print one to nine. And what happens if we do twenty? Let's. What happens if we do twenty? Um, we get one through nine, zero through nine. Okay, so uh, how does this work? A lot of people, the CIA wants you to think it's nothing more than if then el if then else. CIA wants you to think it's the same as if else. It's not. The way a switch statement works is there's a uh, there's a lookup table, and it what it does is it it looks up in the table and then it jumps ahead to some uh, code to a segment of code, and then the code jumps to the bottom to to a common location to continue. Here we are. We're we're calling the put chars and so forth. Now notice here. Do you know why we have this uh, compare to 10? Why is this comparison to 10 here? Okay, so the first comparison, I, RSI is the uh, the local um, register variable. Um, now, why is this comparison to 10 here? Do you know why? That's because the switch only has 10, a range of 10. Now, what if, what if we, what if we were only doing up to 10? we wouldn't really need to compare to 10 would we but in there's no way to signal in normal C there's no way to tell the compiler that you're not going to violate that so you know you know what holy C has okay look at this so this this the code size is BB okay the code size is BB holy C has a uh, has a syntax for a switch statement that's uh, that doesn't include the um, the uh, the range check the switch statement without the range check now the code size is size is B1 and it no longer has the comparison to 10 okay so um that's why I'm the smartest programmer that's ever lived now furthermore I came up with a uh, so a lot of the improvements to a language are kind of junk but I came up with some genuine improvements that if you can improve the C language, that that shows you're the, a genius who's smarter than every programmer that's ever come be. I am smarter than every programmer before me. I am smarter than every programmer before me. Do you want to know why I'm smarter than every programmer before me? Because I have improved the C syntax in a way that is not niggerlicious. Any nigger can make some nigger feature. But I've improved it in a way that's not niggerlicious, okay? Any nigger can make it niggerlicious. I'm the smartest programmer that's ever lived. Look at that. You see how we got those? Now, how is this coded? Okay, so the uh, it's pretty clear that it, it does a jump when it hits a break, and it just jumps down to the common. Now, I had to do something I'm ashamed of. I had to put a call to some to a subroutine that I stuck right here. I'm kind of ashamed of that. And as a matter of fact, God just questioned my judgment. He said, Terry, are you worthy to be the man who makes the temple? If you are, you must answer. Is this niggerlicious or is this divine intellect? And that's the question. I'll leave, I'll leave you with that. You know, Google, they ask you interview questions. Well, the kind of question I face on the job is, is this niggerlicious? Is this too much voodoo for our purposes, for our, our mission statement? Our mission is to be a modern Commodore 64. Is this too much voodoo? This is the op, this, there is, this is voodoo. The question is, is this too much? And that's, this is the hardest question you could ever face in programming. This right here is the hardest question. Right here. Right here is the hardest question in programming. Is this too much voodoo for the next 10 centuries as for God's official temple? Holy, holy see, 
This is the hardest question in programming right here, okay? There it is, hardest question in programming.